These rare frogs have been saved from a flesh-eating fungus by cozying up in makeshift saunas. Chytrid, a deadly waterborne pathogen, has swept the globe, decimated frog species and threatens to wipe out even more amphibians. The research here is primarily focused on green and golden bell frogs and it's been hammered. Just like a lot of Australian frogs, uh, once Kitchard arrived, they just population by population begin to blink out. Anthony Waddle, a biologist at Sydney's Macquarie University, says his team has found a simple solution, at least for the local green and golden bell frogs. Here we're exploiting the Achilles heel of the fungus. It can't tolerate high temperatures or even moderately warm temperatures. The innovation is very simple. It's just a pile of masonry bricks that we painted black and we put inside a little vegetable greenhouse. The whole thing costs about $70 to build. So in our experiments, we found that about three times out of four, when we went out to catch them and look at them, they were in the thermal shelters, the bricks. It can be almost 15 degrees Celsius warmer inside the shelters which can stave off the chytrid. Frogs play a vital part in the environment and are known as bioindicators, which are used to assess how healthy an ecosystem is. Without them, entire ecosystems can collapse. We know in areas where frogs have declined due to chytrid, uh, human diseases can increase because frogs are excellent predators of insects, including mosquitoes, and they vector a lot of human diseases. But globally, 41% of frog species are threatened with extinction according to a recent study by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, making them one of the most vulnerable invertebrate groups. But chytrid has caused six extinctions just in Australia. We have frogs that only live in glass boxes now. So getting them back in the wild is the goal. So all of my research is focused on that. While right now it's gonna impact this one endangered species, I'm hoping, um, and I will, I expand it to other species that we think will benefit. Loves the media. <laughs> But this is the this is one is turning the colors. You know, it's their namesake. He really is green and gold.